Manly and the Sydney Roosters went to war four times in 2013 and the Tricolours won them all, including the match that mattered most. Now almost six months to the day since their epic grand final duel, these two premiership heavyweights were at it again. Most people were expecting another absorbing arm wrestle, especially on a damp Allianz Stadium surface, and they weren't disappointed. Boyd Cordner was the first to come close, before the Sea Eagles got a sight of the opposing strike. Here's Hickman into his back line, and great defence, online defence and sliding. Just like last year's grand final, Glenn Stewart was stunned in a tackle. Although this time he was in attack, and this time it was illegal. Jawad Warrior Hargreaves found himself on report, and Jamie Lyon found himself staring at the sticks. So here's the captain. Strikes it, and uh, the flags go up. Back from a calf strain, Kieran Foran featured in the game's opening try. And here's Foran going back selectively. Matai Blair, Blair scores. Chase Blair, three years of the Roosters, playing under 20s, and he scores for Manly. The Roosters played most of the first 40 in their own territory, under constant siege from the fired-up runners-up. Say, come over here. Oh, come got over him. here. Who, Who tackled him? him? Who got him? Who tackled him? Who got him? You answer the question. My man, Maddai. That's it. Your me. man, Maddai. With almost 60% of possession, it was perhaps surprising that Manly's half time lead was a mere six points. The most recent Clive Churchill medal winner seemed the most likely to stretch it. Here's Cherry Evans. One to be in backfield. Kicks. Will he regather? No. He's overrun the ball. And it's come down to the Roosters and Guerra. Hampered by a heavy penalty count, the Roosters were low on petrol and had to take any chance that came their way. Now here's Jennings, 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 Jennings. He's lost the ball. The Premier's just kept coming as the minutes ticked away. Maloney and now Pierce. He's looking for Jennings. He doesn't need to hit him. Give it to Tupo. in. Daniel Tupo. On a night where very little went right for the red, white and blues, it was no surprise that this verdict went against them, with Mitchell Pearce deemed to have taken advantage of his decoy runner Boyd Cordner. That left the Seagulls seeking to land the knockout blow, but it didn't come until a last minute penalty after James Maloney picked up the pill in an offside position. That was the only score of the second stanza, giving Manly a stirring and very satisfying 8-0 victory the same margin they lost the grand final by. David Rollins, NRL.com.